Hello again, this micro lecture is on Ohm's Law. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. All right, so simple circuits are made up of three things, or three major pieces. A power source, which is often a battery, uh, a resistor, or something that is regulating the flow of electricity, and any connecting wires. Um, so here, for example, we have a battery, we have the connecting wires, and then the resistor is actually the light bulb in this case. But we can also just attach a resistor, like some actual physical thing um, that restricts the flow of electricity through our circuit here. Now remember that voltage is the um, amount of energy per charge. Electric current is the how fast the charge is flowing through our circuit. And resistance is how hard it is for electricity to flow. And these three things are related. Now, if we want to calculate current on its own, we can use this formula. So just uh, FYI on that, where we just take charge divided by time. But that's not going to be our focus today. Our focus is going to be the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. So voltage is the amount of energy per charge, like I said before. Um, think of it as kind of how much energy each electron can deliver. Current is going to be how fast those electrons are flowing through our circuit. Um, now, it's important to know that with current, even though it's electrons flowing, we define current as the direction positive charge would be flowing, um, even though electrons are actually flowing in the opposite direction. So current always goes from positive to negative, even if that's not what's happening in real life. And then resistance is our um, how hard it is for electricity to flow. So if we increase the resistance here, um, then current will flow a little bit less and a little bit less. And to help you understand that, we've got this nice little analogy of a cartoon. This idea where voltage is kind of like the person pushing or kind of what's pushing the current through the circuit or the electricity through the circuit. Um, current is the thing kind of being pushed. It's the thing flowing. And then resistance measured in ohms is kind of the restriction or making it more or less difficult. So with more ohms here, we would be pulling tighter and as a result, less amperage or less current could flow through. Another analogy to help us imagine this is if we imagine a monkey kind of blowing through a straw, voltage would be kind of the pressure buildup in the monkey's cheeks. Um, current would be how fast the air is passing through the straw, so like how much air is passing through each moment. Um, and then resistance would be like if we imagine somebody else kind of squeezing a little bit on the straw or not. So depending on how much they squeeze the straw, it would provide more resistance. And therefore, it would be harder to kind of build up the pressure to flow air through. Um, so again, another analogy in the form of a cartoon. So voltage oftentimes thought of as kind of the pressure um, pushing the electrons through, currents being the actual flow of electrons through, and resistance being kind of like how hard it is to push those electrons through in that sense. Um, yeah. The relationship between these three things is called Ohm's law, and it follows this. So voltage equals current times resistance. Uh, and now I have to say that this applies to simple circuits, so applies to uh, resistors in this sense. Um, and it can be used to calculate uh, any of these three things at any given moment. Um, but uh, it really only applies as Ohm's law if resistance is staying the same. So sometimes there are things where the resistance increases or changes as we change the voltage or the current. Um, but Ohm's law is basically for applying it to places where the resistance stays the same. All right, so essentially Ohm's law lets us predict how much current will flow through a circuit for a given voltage. So for example, if we had a 10 volt battery and we had a 20 ohm resistor, we could figure out how much current will flow through. So we plug in and we get that uh, the currents will be 0.5 amps. So we can use this to predict. Um, it's quite handy in that sense so that we can make sure we're not having too much current flow, um, in which case it might cause some damage or heat things or melt things or things like that. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on a Google form, please.